Oh, jeez! Who's there? Whoever's there, please don't hurt me! I'll give you all my Robux! Ah, uh, so this is Roblox. Wait, what's happening? Everybody stand back. I said stand back. This is a crime scene, and I won't have anybody tampering with the evidence. Is that... baking? Leia, what are you doing here? I decided to finally try out Roblox. Boy, you picked the wrong day to join Brookhaven RP. I don't understand. What happened? Homicide. Third victim this week. Is that... Mr. Cheese? Right so. What's with the bacon next to him? Oh, that. Yeah, we found some bacon strips on the body. We'll have forensics run them for DNA. Bacon strips? I don't like the look of it. Might be a calving card. All signs point to, uh... Piggy. Piggy? Shh! Keep your voice down. We don't want to cause a panic now, do we? I don't understand. Who is Piggy? Listen up. If you're gonna last five minutes in this lobby, you gotta watch your back. Piggy is what they call that monster. Others call it the Butcher, El Cerdo, the Hog from Heck. But no matter what name you give it, there's always one constant. It's a killer, and it has no remorse. Piggy has taken the lives of countless players over the years, with the preferred method of slaughter being bludgeoning victims with a bat. Three sounds, player. An oink, a squeal, and a thud. That last one is you hitting the pavement for the final time. The thing usually just holds up in its condemned house on the hill, killing passerbys that are just brave or stupid enough to enter its territory. But it seems as of late it's gotten... gluttonous. God. Things like this just don't happen in Brookhaven. No, sir. In my 20 minutes on the force, I ain't never seen anything like it. Makes me sick. Uh... okay? A word of advice from a friend. Until we catch this perp, lay off the hickory smoked ham. Roblox is weird. What'll it be, bub? Captain? Captain. <laughs> now that's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Not since the war, that is. Um, are you alright? Why is everyone acting so weird? All of Brookhaven's been in a bit of a funk since the slasher came through last night. Police say they don't have any suspects, but my suspicion? It's got bacon head written all over it. Well, bro seems pretty set on it being piggy. Piggy? That's way worse than bacon heads, and that's really saying something. Bacon heads. There is one obvious way to tell if it's piggy or not that no one's even considering. Do tell. Well, head on up to Piggy's house and see if anybody's home. Are you crazy? It's a death wish! It seems like the real death wish is just sitting here, waiting to be the next victim. You know what? You're right. It's either get busy living or get busy frying. Bacon heads. Seriously, what is your problem with bacon heads? Bacon heads. <laughs> Could you have opened that door any more slowly? I was trying to be sneaky. Well, opening it slowly is what causes the hinges to creak. Here, look. No sound. Pretty cool, huh? Could we please stay focused? Absolutely. Now let's split up. Why? Well, to cover more ground, I think. All I know is in scary movies, the characters always split up. Yeah, and most of the characters end up dying. Do they? I never make it that far in. Too spooky. Oh crap, I think I heard something. Hide! Just keep quiet. Turn it off, turn it off! I can't, it's my gold digger girlfriend. Hi, Snookums, I was shopping. Uh huh, oh good. You need what now? More Robux. Shh, Captain, seriously, turn off the phone. Ah, ah it's Piggy! What the, what are you guys doing here? Bro? That's officer bro to you, player. And I'll be the one asking the questions here. Now, what are you doing here? We came to try and solve the murders. Think you're a couple gumshoes then, huh? 
No, sir, I never chew gum, unless it's Big Red. I just can't resist that sweet cinnamon flavor. But even then, I would never want to get it on my sneakers. Oh, and also a couple wise guys then, eh? I didn't say anything. Well, you two just became our main suspects. Hands in the air! Whoa! Easy, bro, Mingo! Now put your hands behind your backs. Hey, Hatton? Bro, it, it was you. Now just hold on a minute. It's not what it looks like. Run for it, Captain! Okay, but I don't understand why. Get back here! <sighs> 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 I can't believe it was bro all along. Blair, can we please stop running? I'm confused and chafing. It burns, Blair. It burns. Bro killed Mr. Cheese. He's the killer. The bacon. It's his calling card. It's all coming together. Because of bacon? That doesn't make any sense. Also, kind of weird how they just left his body lying there, don't you think? Trust me, it's bro. We're going to blow the lid right off this case. You won't get away with this. But I already have. You'll both be joining Mr. Cheese now. It doesn't have to be like this. <laughs> I don't want to die, Blair. I own a coffee shop. So what's next? There will be others, you know. And I'll deal with them too. Your secret will come out. You can't hide forever. Enough talk. Blair, Captain, time to end this. Wait. What? A bacon head! Gross! Bro, you're a bacon head? Well, yeah, duh. Isn't that why you guys went running? You were going to rat me out? But, but you killed Mr. Cheese. I didn't kill Mr. Cheese. I mean, I did shed some of my loose bacon on his body and some more back at Piggy's house. So, you aren't the killer? No, I'm an officer of the law, bro, amigo. I thought you were going to tell everyone I was a bacon head. No, I won't do that. But I will. Bacon head. Disgusting. Captain. <laughs> Fine. I won't say anything. So, all that stuff about Piggy. I made it up to cover for my bacon at the scene of the crime. Was hoping I could keep you from telling everyone. But if you didn't kill Mr. Cheese, then who did? That's the million Robux question. Maybe we'll never know. I might just end up being one of those unsolved mysteries. A cold case. Sorry for accusing you, bro. It's alright. You know, it ain't easy being a bacon head. The hate, the secrecy, doesn't help that I constantly smell like pork. I'm really just a normal guy. I wish people would give the real me a chance. My whole time on this server I've been ridiculed for my appearance. You're right. It's not fair. You're a... a guest? That's right. The last guest, in fact. We're sworn enemies. Not any longer. You're right. Maybe it's time we put this rivalry aside and turn a new page. What do you say? Sounds good to me, my bacon friend. Coffee? Sure. Wow. A life was lost. But I suppose everything today wasn't all that bad. Makes you think. Our appearances may be different. But inside, we all have a lot in common. Yeah. <laughs>